Center, where former Pro Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Professor Francisca Dora Edubwando, has questioned the use of unparliamentary language in Ghana's parliament. According to her, the language used in parliament leaves much to be desired and something must be done to protect the sanctity of Ghana's parliament's discourse. Speaking at her inaugural lecture at the University of Cape Coast, Professor Edubwando also indicated that Ghana is heading towards ethno-linguistics identity crisis. There's more in this report. Professor Dora Francesca Edubwando's inaugural lecture first put a spotlight on parliamentary discourse. Here are the findings of her research. Our findings included that the use of unparliamentary language bordered on impoliteness because the language used questioned the integrity and credibility of MPs affected. It imputed intellectual weakness in their person and we also found untruth, deception and criminality in their personalities. Karl Papa, Holmes, Mara and Schnorr say that when you behave like this you are being impolite. Unparliamentary discourses of our times have obscenities, provocative or threatening language, personal attacks, and insults. And we can describe them as being offensive, abusive, and insulting. And sometimes it even clouds the discussion on the table, discussion on the floor, because people get angry, they insult, and others get angry, and the issue for discussion is lost. Our parliament has become such that the unparliamentary discourse in the discourse of our times have gone so bad that the speaker himself had to use unparliamentary language to caution the use of unparliamentary discourse <laughs> by referring to the parliamentarians as if they are in uh, the market or choba. That is unparliamentary discourse in itself. But the speaker had to use unparliamentary discourse to caution unparliamentary discourse. <laughs> Proctor, if you know the norms of language use, you will not engage in discourse that will demand that you come back later to say, oh, it was just a joke. If it's a joke, we should all say that it's a joke. Or to say that, oh, I didn't mean to say that. It is just what you meant. So when somebody, next time when somebody tells you that, Oh, I don't mean to insult you. That's exactly what the person wanted to do. Prof Chair, the norms of respect, courtesy, and others I wouldn't have time to cover in this lecture are crucial for proficient engagement in discourse and also for our collective national identity. Because our personal and collective national identities are linked to the way we use language. Professor Edubuando senses the country may be heading towards ethno-linguistic crisis. I have worked in ethno-linguistic identity for some time because that was what my PhD work uh, focused on. Ethno-linguistic identity is about how we use language to present who we are. In a paper I did with Owe, we, we realized that Ghanaians have negative perceptions, attitudes to our own languages. Recently I heard that uh, in Parliament they're going to use Ghanaian languages, but I didn't hear the modality for it, so I guess it's just like other things we say. And it looks like we are heading towards an ethno-linguistic identity crisis, because most of our youth in the younger generations do not speak any Ghanaian language. When I did my study, I met people who are students of this university and they didn't speak even one. Ghanian the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Professor Johnson Nyako Buampong, supported the College of Professors to robe the now full Professor Dora Francisca Edubwando into the College of Professors.